Hello Cancer, hope you guys are doing good. This is a timeless reading for you. If you feel drawn to watch this video, no matter when it is, it's meant for you. Not all of these messages will resonate with you though, Cancer, so take what resonates. Leave the rest for someone else. Please hit the like button. Also consider subscribing to the channel if you'd like to tap into the energy of the reading. Thank you so much. I really appreciate your support. So let's see what's going on with you, Cancer. Current energies in this relationship for Cancer. What's going on here, Spirit? We have the Six of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles. In the current moment, we have the Temperance card, Sagittarius Energy. Wow, three cards here. The Hanged Man, the Two of Cups, and your immediate future. Also, the Tower card. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Swords. Two of Swords. Wow, lots of Swords energy. King of Swords here. We also have a Queen of Cups. Energy poking the, their nose in here. <laughs> wow. Interesting. <clears throat> so we have a couple of different energies showing up here in your reading. So this, there's this like third party energy that's looming around here. But well, we have a divine pair, king and queen of swords. So this person that you feel most attracted to, you're trying to make a decision about them, okay? Trying to make a decision as to whether or not you want to be in the relationship with this person anymore. They're mirroring your energy as well. You both are kind of like cold toward each other. <laughs> you're... One person is facing one way and the other is facing the other. Um, but there's somebody here, another Cancer Scorpio Pisces showing up here and your energy that is looming around outside your connection. There's a sudden change towards a new connection here. Could be, you could end up marrying this person, Two of Cups. Wow, let's get some clarity. So we have a three of pentacles in your recent past along with the six of pentacles. Someone was not able to fully give into the relationship because we have an interference by a third party. <clears throat> could be you, could be a person. No judgment on either side. I think this is fate happening. Tell me about this three of pentacles and the six of pentacles. I just keep picking up that this just past relationship, it, cre it created a lot of stability for you emotionally, but at the same time, you may have like caught your person messaging a third party. What else, Spirit? You have a Six of Swords, Page of Pentacles. Someone doesn't want this relationship to end, okay? There's this, there's a solid offer here, but yet one of you is moving away. <laughs> one person wants this relationship to come back together. The other one is feeling like they're being called in the other direction. In the current moment, we have this temper, this temperance card. This is a change in direction. It's like you're in this, in the void space between relationships. I feel like you know that this person is coming towards you here. We have the Judgment card. Clarifying the Temperance cards. We have two major arcana here. Interesting. Queen of Pentacles. We have a six, or excuse me, a four of cups. So you have this very stable past relationship that keeps wanting to come back to you, okay? And I feel like 
whoever this is, they're trying to play a guilt factor onto you, okay? They're trying to... They're trying to guilt you into coming back to them. Whoever this is, you're sorry that you disappointed this Queen of Pentacles person. I feel like you're sorry you disappointed this Queen of Pentacles, but... I, f I feel like you know that the time has passed with this person. You really want them to be able to move on and find peace and security and serenity and a new love connection elsewhere you want them you want to will that for them you know what i mean it feels like you're trying to help them move towards that in some way but the way that they're coming across here is that they're, they're they want you to feel guilty for what's happened in your past with them you see this person is a very stable emotionally like a good life partner you know, I, I do feel like you're give, you're trying to give it a chance here. You're trying to be patient with this person. I think that you're, because you don't want to hurt them, you may be tiptoeing slowly away from them if you can. You're trying to be patient with them. You're trying, you may even have to work with them in terms of um, either business or if you have a family together. There's divine timing in you coming into alignment, I feel, with a new energy here. We have the tower card here. Why is this tower card here in the hanged man and the two of cups? Queen of cups. There's this new energy showing up for you here. You may have already met this person. This could be somebody from your past. Um... Wow, there's a sudden change towards moving toward this new connection. We have this Queen of Cups twice. Could be an, a Cancer Scorpio Pisces coming your way. You may even have several options coming your way with this Queen of Swords here. This could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I think that you're, you may be, you know, keeping your options open because... You may be like in the midst of a, di a divorce at this time, or you may have recently divorced, or um, you may even just be in separation um, and starting to date new people. And but I feel like this something here is is happening with this Queen of Cups energy here. So you, this person that keeps wanting to stay with you they try to guilt you they want to step into their power and like take control <laughs> of bringing you back towards them but so i feel like it's going to happen where there's some kind of argument that breaks you away from this past person here this person that you're not fully you're sad that you are disappointing them but at the same time you have to move on with your life this person, I feel like they think things should be a certain way. Like when they, <clears throat> when you were in your past relationship with them, they felt like this was going to be forever. And it's really hard for them to let that go and move forward. So I do feel like there's going to be some kind of argument that pushes this Queen of Pentacles person away and puts you on a new path towards a new connections here. Okay. You may come into alignment with somebody who's a little bit, I feel like you're going to feel like more like yourself when you, when you're with this queen of cups person, but you are trying to make a decision because you may have a couple of different connections here that, that are supposed to be in your life. Like this queen of cups is here twice. This queen of swords here once, like. This Queen of Cups person is definitely some kind of connection, a significant connection to you in some way. I want to get some more information about this person. Tell me more. I want to, um, I'm going to get another deck here because now I'm super cu curious. Tell me more about this Queen of Cups. Ace of Swords. 
The Empress. This person is very, very attractive to you. You feel so attracted to them. Um, this person's in a very high vibration. Nine of Wands. I feel like you fear that this person is like so beautiful. <laughs> but, you know, you've had some kind of moment of clarity here. There's some kind of fear about stepping forward and connecting with this Queen of Cups person. What are you afraid of here? What is this fear about? Why is this Nine of Wands here? Six of Wands. Here, I think there's this fear that if you step into your power and, and try to make a move here that you're going to get rejected in some way. King of Wands. There's a need to like step into your confidence. Something about a fear that this person is going to possibly leave you or be with somebody who's more attractive or more confident than you are. Something of that nature. We have an Empress here and we have a King of Wands. So there, I feel like this past person in your life here, they kind of kept you trapped in some way. They kept you, they kept you in this box that needed to fit some kind of mold. And now that you're away from this person and kind of like stepping out on your own, you're, you're learning to step into your power here and who come into alignment with who you truly are and who is that person that can, you know, match who you truly are, who is that person that can, then can be your, can hang with you. Like, you know, you're going to have to let go of this past person and they're going to have to deal with their own issues or their own, um, grief for the loss of the relationship. That's not something for you to do for them. And I think that they pull at your heartstrings and they take advantage of your good nature, to be honest with you. I feel like they, take advantage of your kindness and that you're, you know, you, you are innately a very good person. You're an honest, good person. And they, I feel like they're taking a little bit advantage of that good nature to, and I don't know that they're doing it in a way that's like super malicious. I just know that this person is having a hard time letting go of you. And this is all about you stepping into who you truly are and deciding what it is that you want for your life. Um, there may be people around you that, that provide, that there's like some kind of threat to your confidence level, or there's like some kind of test coming your way here, cancer, where you're having to like step into your confidence and show that you're comfortable with yourself and who you are as a person. I just think that this Queen of Pentacles person from your past really provided a, a, a level of security or some kind of foundation for security for you so that you didn't really have to like step out of your comfort zone. They did a lot for you. Um, but now that you're like kind of moving out and on to your own here, you are stepping into this newfound confidence and really just figuring out what it is that you want for your life and maybe even considering a couple of these different connections here. Interesting. Someone here that you're interested in is, is you feel maybe like physically more attractive than you are or something of that nature. So there's like this there's like this kind of like doubt, a self, a little bit of a self-esteem issue here cropping up and take it how it resonates. You can flip flop it. It may not even be your story at, at all, even as well, but it just feels like this, this Empress, this person is, is very high vibrational. This Empress is like very evolved individual. They're healed. They are happy. They enjoy their life. They're kind. They're forgiving. They let people go. Let you know, there's no, Empress doesn't chase 
an empress is chill. Um, this queen of pentacles, I feel like while wow, this queen of pentacles, she has a lot going for her. She's a, a wife, a mother, a single, or it could be a very independent person making their own money and somebody who is wife material. Um, she's a queen. She's obviously a very good catch, but this empress is, I feel like this queen of pentacles right now in this current, current moment is a little bit clingy. And this empress is like, <laughs> she's very attractive. Um, and so I feel like you are stepping into your confidence here, Cancer. You're trying to figure out how to move forward towards new connections and letting go of this past person that's like trying to take from your energy. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button. Also go check out my social media. The links are down in the description and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.